Hello everyone. Today we will discuss axis marking on lens blank using lens meter. Axis marking is required uh, when we are making glasses containing cylindrical number. As we know that uh, cylindrical lens work at a particular axis. So, axis marking is very important when we are making glasses containing cylindrical number. If we do not mark correct axis, then we cannot obtain clear vision with glasses. So, axis marking is very important. The steps for axis marking are, the number one is check the power of lens blank to make sure that the power of lens blank is according to the uh, what prescription requires. Number two step is choose the right meridian. I believe this is the most important step to understand the concept of axis marking on lens blank. I will explain this in next slide. Next step after choosing the right meridian is set axis wheel at desired axis according to the prescription. And uh, step number four is that you will rotate the lens blank until the target is clear. And when the target is clear, it means that lens blank is at desired axis. And the last step is uh, mark the lens blank with lens meter. You can mark uh, the lens blank. So, choosing the right meridian is very important. The rule is that if the slender in the prescription is in minus, then you have to choose the meridian which is more minus or less plus and opposite is true when the cell is in plus. You have to choose more plus meridian or less minus meridian. I will explain here the concept of more minus and less plus. I have a lens with two meridians for example, plus two and plus three. In this example, more plus is plus 3 and uh, more minus is plus 2. Similarly, if I have minus 2, one meridian and another meridian of minus 3, then more minus here is minus 3 and uh, more plus is minus 2. Now, let us do an example to see how this rule applies. Suppose we have a prescription plus 2 with minus 3 cylinder at 90 axis. So, I will draw power cross for this prescription. I will get plus 2 here at 90 degree. Cylinder is minus 3. It means that uh, the power at 180 degree meridian will be minus 1. Because cylinder indicates the difference between the two meridians. So, for this prescription, the lens blank will have uh, power plus 2 at 90 degree and power minus 1 at 180 degree. So, in prescription, I have cylinder in minus. So, for minus as the rule indicates when cell is minus you have to choose more minus meridian or less plus meridian. So, here the more minus meridian will be minus 1. So, I will choose minus 1. I will move the power wheel of the lensometer to minus 1 and then follow the procedure as I have chosen minus 1. Then I will set axis wheel of lensometer at desired axis, which in this example is 90 degree. So, I will move axis wheel to 90 degree and then I will start rotating the lens blank until the target is clear and when target is clear, it means that I am at axis of 90 degree, which is required in the prescription and then I will take the lens marking. 
so this is the procedure of uh, axis marking on lensometer let's take another example here we have minus 2 sphere with minus 3 cylinder at 180 so the power cross for this will be minus 2 at 180 and uh, since cylinder is minus 3 so this meridian will be minus 5 again cylinder in minus so I will choose more minus meridian which will be minus 5 and the rest of the procedure will be same as explained earlier here another example we have minus 2 at 90 with plus 3 cylinder which means that the power at 180 meridian will be plus 1 and here cylinder in the prescription is in plus so I will choose more plus which will be plus 1 meridian and rest of the procedure will be same.